guys, it's Simmer Deb. Welcome to part three of Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. In the last episode, Abby met another cute guy, Kyle Barrows, and she also met Erica Orwell, and she met another girl who I don't see on her, like, oh, her, <laughs> Pam Carnegie. The short hair threw me off for a second there. I thought it was a guy. Uh, Pam Carnegie. So she is, um, meeting some people and, you know, perhaps making some friends. And is that a flower over there? I do believe I see a flower. But basically, we are picking up exactly where we left off in the last episode. She's going to pick the Sweet William. And what is this? Are these moving? These must be some nanite things or something. I don't, I don't know. We're going to catch these, whatever they are. Um, here's some more over here. We're going to catch those too. And I don't know. I haven't played that all that much with the end of the future stuff. So I don't know if these things can bite or not. Um, there's some kind of bug things. I don't know. Nanite things, maybe. Let's just see what they are. Oh, me both flare new. Oh. Okay. Abby just caught a dispersion <laughs> nanite. Oh, wow. Valued at 187, so that's good. What else did we get? If you donate the insects to the science lab, you'll get a nice reward. Um, we probably won't do that. We're probably just going to... She also caught a condenser nanite valued at 67. Okay, we're probably just going to sell those because if we go to the science lab, uh, you know, there will be adults there and she might have to explain herself. So... Is that something over there, too? I think that might be one of the... Hey, there's some more. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here. We'll have to remember this. This is close to the library. Um, catch some more of these green things, nanite thingies. And over here, I saw flowers and a mushroom. Uh, Black-eyed Susan... Is this a spotlight mushroom? Yeah. I'm going to pick that. Here's some more flowers. An azalea. And a blue flax. And another azalea. Um, congratulations. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I thought he had a part-time job doing something. I don't know. Did we get all the flowers here? We'll just have to wait and see. There's, I think more flowers are yeah, actually spawning while we're here, which is good. Okay, yeah. And we're going to have her pick the rest of these flowers really quick. Who's this person running across the way here? A couple people here. They're probably all adults. Who's this? This is, well, we just met her, Pam Carnegie, Tom Lanville, Reuben Lanville, um, Tom Lanville, and he, yeah, well, let's just go ahead and meet him. We're going to cramp her style in case she's flirting with him. I don't know. We're going to greet him and just see what he's all about, too. Mm -hmm. We wish that this um, adult was not here, though. Okay, do we get any kind of um, romantic whatever with him? This guy is an adult, right? I think so. Debs. He's flirting with us. They flirted with. Uh-oh. 
And evidently, Abby flirted back, and he said, no, I can flirt with you, but you can't flirt with me, so. And he is in a relationship with Vale. Well, that's fine. We don't want you anyway. You're, you're running hot and cold. He must have the flirty trait. He's not too bad looking. What are they talking about? I don't know what they're talking about. She's talking about the... Is it hailing? It's hailing. Um, fight. Why would we want to fight? We don't want to fight with you. Um, uh, we're just going to be friendly. And I guess we're going home. I don't know why we're going home. Um, I guess because of the hail. He doesn't look bad, look. Because, but he is in a relationship with somebody else. And he's got pretty eyes. Abby is not the kind of Sim that's going to try to break up a relationship unless she really, really likes the guy. He is cute. I have to say, he's cute. So, I don't know. Um... Abby, you're not going to go home. You're going to catch some stuff again because we definitely need money. So get off your little bicycle. This hail's not going to hurt you, hopefully. Hey, there's something else we can catch right here. We're going to catch that. You can catch that. It's standing. It's right here. Catch the ding-dang lizard. Why can you not catch this lizard? Or whatever it is. Is there a tree on top of it? No. How about you go here and then you try to catch the lizard? I don't see anything in your way. Now catch the lizard. Why can you not get to this lizard? You're not going home yet. Go here. What do you mean we can't go here? Are we at the edge of the world or something? No. This is just really weird. Um, why would you not be able to go there? Okay, well, that's so totally not fair. I don't even understand it either. Um, okay, well, fine. You can't get the lizard, and it's probably worth, uh, you know, 100,000 simoleons or something. <laughs> what was it? It's a chameleon. Okay. Well, all right, fine. We won't get that chameleon. And Abby, honey, I know that it's hailing. But we're not going to go home just yet. What's this? Here we go. Here's a flower. We're going to pick this azalea. And she wants to kiss Kyle for the first time. <laughs> oh, my. And she wants to become good friends with Kyle. She's not going to have her fortune told. I can't believe she got the wish to kiss Kyle. Well, we might, we might have to kiss Kyle. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Which, she really kind of likes Brandon better, I think, because she... The reason I think this is because when I was watching her sleep last night, she kept getting... She kept seeing um, Brandon's face over and over and over again. So, I don't know. She's trying to go home. And we're just not going to let her go home because we've got to find some things. Um, let's see where she can go that's indoors, maybe. Where would be a good place for us to go? Um, it has to be somewhere like the library or the gym or some place where, you know, it would be okay for a teenager to be that would not draw suspicion from anyone. How are her needs doing? She's hungry. And she has to go to the bathroom. Um... I think the only couple, the only two places really 
that she can go. You know what? She could go over to the university. Let's go here. We can get indoors. Um, you know, and that would be a place where it would be logical maybe for her to be hanging out there. And um, she can go to the bathroom and she can eat some apples. I don't think there's any f food at the University Park. Um, we don't have any money to buy anything anyway. But she can eat her apples and go to the bathroom. And she could even take a nap if she wanted to. She got up really early this morning. Um, she's been small talked. She's intrigued from juicy gossip. And she's made friends. We will just have to see. But she definitely likes Kyle. And she likes Brandon too. And it kind of bugs me that Brandon has a job. Because that means that, you know, you won't get to see them as often because they're going to be busy at their job. Okay, here she is. We'll go ahead and um, let her go to the bathroom. <laughs> that guy sounds funny. She's going to use the bathroom. And this girl's not, not into what this guy is saying. These are definitely, are these adults? Hey, wait a minute. That's him. Okay, we've got to meet him. He is a teenager. So we're going to greet him. Because he looks like he might be cute from his little picture there. He is cute. Yeah, he is. He's cute. Kyle Barrows has been out on the town trimming down the locals. Well, that's good. And she's really hungry, so after she meets him, we're going to let her eat some of her apples. She can also take a nap here. So let's see if she gets an attraction with this guy. No attraction. Okay. Um... Well, let's talk to him for a little bit. Let's ask about his age. He's hungry, too. Um, let's ask his sign. See what his sign is. And I think he's... Oh, wait. They do like each other. Okay, well, that's good. We're batting a thousand here. Um, he's cute. All right, let's see. He is a Sagittarius. Those signs are compatible. And we are exactly the same age. Well, that's disappointing. Brandon Hartford and Pam Carnegie have started dating. Wah. Okay, well, I guess Brandon's out. And why did you flirt with him? You just can't just go flirting with somebody you just meet. You know better than that, Abby. So let's get to know this guy just a little bit more. Stop flirting with him. He does not like that, girl. Stop it. Um, let's ask him if he's single. Because he might even have a girlfriend. I mean, you know, you don't even know. Apologize to him for being so forward. Let's talk about computers. I'm really disappointed about Brandon because I wanted to get to know him a little bit better. But what's well, his partner Nun? So they are just started dating. They're not girlfriend and boyfriend yet. So that's good. Let's find out where Brandon is. I don't know why I like him, but for some reason I do. I don't know if it's because he was the first guy that we met. Um, he's over here at this place. What is this place? Oh, this guy that we're talking to now, he has a partner. He has a girlfriend, Corinne. 
And I don't see Brandon here. Is that Brandon? Yeah, that's Brandon. He's changed his clothes. Um, okay. Well, we're going to come here. And we're going to talk to Brandon a little bit. Um, we're going to ask what Brandon's sign is because we don't know. Can we not ask him that? Do we know his son? I didn't think we knew his son. There's that Pam Carnegie. She's going to be our competition if we decide to go with him. We don't know his son. So, we're just going to be friendly with him. We're going to ask about the book he's reading. And then maybe we'll get the option to ask what his son is. Um, we're going to consider his attractiveness. Because, you know what? I can't even... They may not have even had uh, an attraction between them. To be honest, I'm not really sure if they did or not. So let's hurry this up before he leaves. It's just got a bike all the way from... Pretty long way away. All the way from the university. Here she is. Okay. And, of course, he's got to go put that book up. And is he going to go behind the counter and get stuck? Put the book on the shelf right there, why don't you? No, that would make too much sense. He's got to go all the way to the kitchen area and lay the book on that table. Well, that's okay. Come and talk to me. I want to know if I have an attraction to you or if I should move on to Kyle Barrows. Just call Kyle does not have a partner that we know of. Oh. Cliff, Narco, Vadas, DJ, Ross. And I think Abby's getting really Mo, sleepy, really Mio, tired, but. Stami Hami Tan. Oh. B, Yuza, Rob. No Biba Tulan, Zino. Lorcas Bunny. Weak. Okay, are we going to consider. Let's consider his attractiveness. And see, mm. are we attracted to him? I think I like his hair. <laughs> That's one thing I that Abby likes his hair. We can ask his sign. Okay, there is an attraction. We have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. Okay, Abby finds Brandon Hartford blindingly stunning. Ten out of ten. I wonder what she finds the other guy. Okay, Abby Sherwood learned that Brandon Hartford is Aries. Those signs are compatible. Okay. Um, where is... That's the girl that he's dating. You know what we're going to do? We're going to flirt with this guy a little bit. Just just a small little flirt. And see if he flirts. And he did flirt back. Okay. Um, and she does not like us now because she... Even though she's got her back turned... Honey, this girl, she's got her ears peeled, and she knows what Brandon's doing. Uh, she's listening to their conversation, and she does not like it at all. Oh, now I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for her now. Um, she wants to pillow fight with Brandon. We're not going to do that. Um... Okay, Abby's starting to feel sorry for Pam. Maybe she should... Yeah, she's not going to flirt with Brandon anymore. Not right now. We'll wait and see what kind of wishes that she gets. Um, if she gets, you know, a wish to kiss Brandon, then we might kiss him. But she doesn't want to upset Pam because she really likes Pam. And Pam probably doesn't like... Oh, Pam doesn't like us anymore at all. Abby really needs to apologize to Pam. Um, and there goes Abby. She's flirting with Brandon without me telling her to. And that makes Pam hate her. Um, we're not going to fight with Pam. I wonder if we could, like, apologize. Let's go compliment Pam's dancing. That's what we're going to do. But, you know, um, we like you, Pam, but we also like Brandon. Pam does not like us at all. She is not having this. Um, 
What if we be funny with her? Let's go ahead and tell her a funny story, and we'll make a silly face, and she's not having it. She's not having it at all. She really does not like us at all, and I don't blame her for not liking us. I mean, you know, we flirted with her uh, boyfriend. Well, he he's not her boyfriend. He's just somebody she has a crush on. They are not boyfriend and girlfriend. You can see that by looking. And it says that his, he has no partner. Um, we're going to listen to her complain about our flirting with the guy that she's interested in. And we're going to say, she's going to tell her, you know, I'm really sorry, but I like Brandon too. That's a, She's going to share a secret with her and say, I like Brandon too. Um, but I still want to be friends with you. And Pam is like, no, I'm not having it. If you like Brandon, then I cannot be your friend. And Justin still wets his bed at night. Okay. And Pam really thinks that we're being boring. And I don't think there's any way that we can, um... Don't mock her dancing. Don't do that. Abby... How can you expect to be friends with this girl if you are mean, if you, what did I do? If you mock her dancing, um, it's your fault, Abby. You flirted with the guy that you knew that she was interested in, okay? She has every right to be upset with you. So, I wish there was an apologize. There's no apologize. That I see. Um, I guess, pretty much, uh, you know, we cannot be friends at all right now. Um, let's see if she'll shock a bra with us. And she, she's just, she's getting ready to slap us, it looks like. Is she going to slap? She just slapped us. Oh, no. Okay. Um, well, you know what? We've tried to be nice to you. Yes, we did flirt with your boyfriend. Well, he's not your boyfriend. We did flirt with the guy that you are interested in. And that's our fault. But did you deserve, did we deserve to be slapped? And Abby's going to gossip with her. And she's not having it. Should we slap her back? I don't think we should slap her back. I think we deserve that, possibly, because we flirted with the guy she wants, and we um, insulted her dancing, okay? So I guess the best thing that we can do is we're just gonna go over here and flirt with Brandon some more because that's going to get her back for slapping us much more than, and for giving us a mean high five. That will get back at her much more than you know, anything else. And I really hate that um, we did that in front of her. She had her back turned, so I really didn't think that she would notice that we were flirting with Brandon. But, you know, she did, and Brandon is our best friend now. And I don't know who Abby likes better. She, I don't know if she likes Brandon better or if she likes Kyle Barrows better. We're just going to have to wait and see and let Abby decide, you know, who she likes better. She does not yet have, oh, you know, a want to kiss Brandon. So we're not, we're not going to kiss him or anything like that. Um, we're just going to tell him a flirtatious joke. And then we're going to talk to Derek a little bit. We don't want to, um... We don't want Derek to not like us. Derek feels like throwing up. Wonder why. Has he been dumpster diving? Or does he, does what he watched, he watched us flirt with Brandon and it made him want to throw up. Oh, wait a minute. Derek has a partner, doesn't he? Yeah, Derek has a girlfriend, Korean. Okay. Um, well, we're not going to go there. We don't want another girl mad at us because we have, you know, tried to steal her boyfriend. And let's see. Uh-oh. 
I think I just, this girl better not be pregnant because I just saw baby booties. And in order to play this challenge, oh, is the toilet messed up? In order to play this challenge, um, I did have to turn on the option where um, teen sims can get pregnant. So let's just hope that this girl's not pregnant. And I hear my, my phone is going off, guys, so I'll be right back in just a second. I got to take this. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys, but that was my real-life face, so I had to take it. Um, and it looks like Pam has got Brandon trapped in the bathroom. You know, she followed him in there and just gave him what for and said, you know, I thought you and I had something going on. And who knows what Brandon told her. Um, you know, Brandon probably told her, well, you know, we were not committed, you know, we're not in a committed relationship or anything. You can, you cannot order a drink, Abby. You don't have the money to be ordering a drink, okay? Um, and he's thinking about us, but he has a girlfriend, and like I said, we're not going to, you know, we don't want to alienate anyone else. Who is this girlfriend, Korean? Is that's Korean there. She's cute. Um, we don't want to alienate anyone else. We'll just talk to Brandon just a little bit more and make sure. We're going to ask about his day. We're going to make sure that everything's okay with us. We are feeling quite humiliated uh, from that encounter with Pam. And Abby feels really bad, you know, that Pam doesn't like her now uh, because she wanted to be good friends with Pam. She really liked Pam. She doesn't really know much about Pam. Um, but she's actually hoping. Abby's curfew is in one hour. I thought I had curfew turned off. I'll have to turn curfew off. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? Abby really hopes that later on she can repair her relationship with Pam because she would like to be friends with Pam. Um, she's going to go ahead and compliment Brandon's dancing and ask about the book that he was reading. Abby learned that Brandon is a party animal. She's going to express her humiliation to him and say, you know, I really did not mean to make Pam angry. Um, she's just going to let him know, you know, that she's sorry if she caused problems between him and Pam. And there she goes flirting with him again. She's going to flirt with Brandon. And she is, you know, really, really extremely tired. Um, so she's going to talk to him just a few minutes. More. She, we cannot let her get arrested. Um, what time is curfew? Is it 11? I guess we better go ahead and send Abby home until I can get the curfew part turned off with the NRAS mods. Uh, because if Abby gets arrested, that's really going to be a bad problem. So we're going to go ahead and send her home. She is extremely tired. Who knows? I don't know if she's got the energy to bike home or not. She may not. But that was quite an eventful day that she's had. Um, and I don't know. Uh, Kyle is a cutie pie. He really is. And he might be a better match for her than Brandon is. We don't know. We're just going to explore. Abby's going to explore all her options because... She does not want to get involved in a real romantic relationship just quite yet until she knows what's what in this town and until she knows who it is that she can really trust with the secret that she is homeless. Do we have any mail? We've got a bill. We've got a $1 bill that we have to pay. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that. I don't know, you know what we would do if the bill collector came in and took our tent or our bicycle you know that would be really really bad especially over a dollar uh, and we're going to go ahead and let abby sleep and with that i'm going to go ahead and end this part right here 
But I want to thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you are enjoying Abby's story. If you did enjoy this episode, please let me know in the comments down below. Please leave me a like, and please subscribe. See you next time.